this is the Sunway Photo Epic EB36. Is it worth its $79 price tag? Let's find out. So for the past year or so, I've been using this budget $26 per gear ball head. It's literally falling apart at this point. So instead of purchasing another super cheap one that was just gonna end up dying on me again, I decided to look into my other options for maybe paying a little bit more for a ball head to see what kind of quality I could get. And that's when I found the EB36 from Sunway Photo. Immediately at first glance at this tripod head, its fit and finish is just fantastic. All the edges are perfectly machined and smooth. All of the parts, the fit and finish, it's just fantastic. All of the knobs on this ball head are fully dampened, even the one here on the top clamp. This knob has a nice wide rubberized texture on it, so there's no way you're gonna slip. Another big feature of this tripod that really intrigued me was its weight. It's just barely over about half a pound. However, even though it's super light, the payload capacity of this thing is like over 30 pounds. Now the way Sunway Photo has been able to keep the weight of this head down is through these little cutouts that you see all over the ball head here. Even on the base plate here, they had sections cut out. They even did this deep engraving of their logo there on the front. Now let's talk about this top clamp for a second. When you fully undo it here, the plate doesn't come right out. There's actually this really satisfying sort of click when you pull it out. Same thing when you put it back in. And of course, on the base of the plate itself, you do have the safety screws so that it's not coming out when this loosens up. The base of the ball head as well has this rubber inner circle there, and that's just gonna prevent this head from slipping too much on your tripod. You also have this sort of elongated lever here for when you need to rotate the ball head as well. And the strength of these knobs, when you clamp them down, turn that just barely finger tight. And I can't for the life of me move that head at all. And again, that's like finger tight. I know if I put a rig on here and tighten this thing down, it is as secure as it can be. Let's compare this to what I was using, this Pergear TH3 ball head. Very popular on Amazon, inexpensive at 26 bucks, but you can really see the difference in quality. Let's go back to the Sunway again. When you loosen the knob all the way, it stops. It's not going anywhere. On the per gear, and all the knobs are like that. This top plate, you can unscrew it and the plate just falls right out. It has nicks and dings on it, and I'm not hard on my gear at all. Let me screw this back in. Now, when I go to more than finger tighten this head, there's no problem moving that around. Was, there's no security at all. I think maybe it was a little bit better when I first got it, but I don't know if you can see here, this just this orange rubberized texture on the inside surrounding the ball that what locks it down you can actually see this stuff starting to squeeze out it really isn't a very good tripod head for me when i'm putting my expensive camera gear on something i want to know it's going to be secure and i'm telling you this ball head by sunway photo absolutely won me over perfect example of you get what you pay for in fact after using this head for a few days this is where my per gear tripod head went. If you've got any questions about this ball head, just let me know in the comments below. I've got a lot of reviews coming of some pretty interesting gear, so you might want to consider subscribing as well. Thanks for watching.